Hey guys, hope things are going well. Uh, finally moved my camera around so that I think it gives a little bit better view where I put it. <clears throat> Got all the uh, decals on to this thing. And holy crap, there were a lot of little fiddly decals. <laughs> I mean, the uh, there's still a ton left on the decal sheet. You can see all the ones I cut out and put on. And there's a lot that are like like here number 45 there were dozens of those that I put had to put in they were all right here number 64 they were single dot decals that look you know slightly smaller than that because that's actually two that fuse together in the uh, in the dish let's see yeah there we go there's you can see them right there but there were a lot like that. Uh, you know, I had to put four of them there. I tried doing it with one of these uh, uh, pins, these Micron pins, but due to the lacquer gloss coat that I'd put over uh, the decals, uh, over the model before putting the decals on, they just rubbed off. And so I, I, could, I had, to, had to go and do the decals. And then, uh, honestly, the decals kept it more uniform, and so it looked better in the long run. Uh, I'm about to put a second gloss coat onto here. Uh, and then I'm going to work on weathering it with enamel washes. Uh, I've got I bought a uh, enamel wash kit from MIG, and I'm going to do that. And then I'll do some uh, pigment weathering. Uh, not a whole bunch of that, honestly, just because the I I, I anticipate the enamel wash will will fix it uh, pretty well. Uh, now uh, one one major mistake that I I perpetrated upon myself is before I put the gloss coat on, I was like I, I tried putting some decals on just this one decal here, and if you look, and again you have to look real close, you can see. Come on, focus. There's a little bit of space between the decal and where it should be resting on the on the bottom here, and I'm I'm pretty sure that most people will not notice that. But that's because the uh, the clear border around all the decals, there's like a little clear border around the printed part. Uh, it actually came to rest on this bottom part. And since I hadn't put the uh, gloss coat on, it really wouldn't slide around and I couldn't push it down to where the bottom part would kind of muff over onto the, the ledge here. And the decal started tearing, so I just had to leave it where it was because uh, I wasn't about to mask and paint that. And so it offset this upper decal but uh, learned my lesson and on this side uh, I actually trimmed the bottom of the decal and then uh, with the gloss coat on I could manipulate it and move it around to where it settled really uh, well on the bottom uh, but overall I mean this has been a fun little model to build and to put together and to do all the decals uh, I mean it was it was pretty tedious it took me several days to get all the decals done uh, I guess I started last week around Wednesday or Thursday, so I guess about a week to get all the decals on. And that's you know part of that's because you know I've got two kids, age four and six, and taking care of them and making sure they don't like you know die uh, is a lot of work, and putting them to bed at night. And usually by the end of the evening, I'm just exhausted uh, and ready to go to bed myself. But yeah, uh, this this worked out pretty well. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna hit it with a gloss coat. Another, uh, I just used the Testers spray lacquer gloss coats, um, and that I mean that just that that allowed the decals to slide around, uh, gave it kind of a good protective film, and I'm hoping that that will uh, then solidify the decals onto the model before I put the uh, the lacquer on, because that will uh, that will let the uh, weathering go around and not not damage the decals because again these these decals are about 15 years old I think this was a 2001 2002 2003 somewhere around in their model uh, when it was created and so these decals are a decade old and uh, the the uh, was it the microsol the microset um, you know they they really do start melting the decals and uh, putting them where they are so they, they they had a tendency to rip if I wasn't careful but uh, but uh, overall fun, and then uh, I'm going to work on some other things, practice my soldering to get ready to do the 148 scale. I have added some other models to my collection for Minoth. This is the Eye of Truth. He's slowly getting put together. Uh, that should be a good one. But then also, uh, 
managed to get this little model, <laughs> the Judicator, for and off it was at my local store and so I just I bought it and brought it home so we'll see see about putting that up uh, I'll need to practice putting more stuff through the airbrush for this guy because I'm not about to paint giant spaces white uh, if I don't have to but uh, other than that you know once I get the uh, the wash and the weathering done on this guy all I have to do is create the base which, you know, this is the base that came with it. And what I'm hoping to do is to put it onto uh, this, which I put just some uh, sheet styrene down. And I plan on building up the base with a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, just cut out polystyrene squares, uh, scribing some panel lines, and then putting some uh, little greebles on there I guess just to make it look like the uh, surface of the Death Star where the ship is flying over it and again I completely stole that from uh, several different people who've made this model you know, models like it and built a, uh, a nice looking base for it but um, that will take some time uh, and probably won't get uh, as quick attention as it ought to but it, it will it will happen but, uh, anyway I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday and I will talk at you later adios